so I'm, I'll, I'm not going to go on and on about how to plant and take care of your plants, but I do want to touch base anyway. And you're, you're going to want to try any bare root plants, your roses, you, when you get bare root, you know, usually fall and winter or here, um, early spring um, is still considered sort of almost like winter. Uh, never, ever, ever let any of your roots dry out, whether it's them. Um, you're going to want to inspect those bald and burlap um, plants for and, and damage. Those little tiny root hairs are actually the, the most important ones that they absorb all the moisture and remove all objects. I've seen people that actually consider themselves professional plop a burlap uh, uh, root ball into the ground and just loosen the top a little bit. Just drives me crazy. Um, anyway, uh, so once you do that, then uh, in planting, always, always keep the plant as at the same depth that it was before. And you can pretty much tell on the, on the, um, on the stem of the plant plant and and so maintain that depth always and you'll see a lot of articles a lot of people will say oh you know fill your hole with compost and whatever um but you're dealing with plants that you want to grow native and if you put uh, treated soil compost fertilizer anything like that in you're gonna treat it like an ornamental and it's going to sit there like it's sitting in a pot and it's not going to do anything. Why should it go anywhere when you've given it all, all of its needs right there? It does, it's not going to stretch its roots. You have to think about when you're planting a tree, or when you look, look at a tree in your front lawn, if you laid that tree down on, on its side, how far the roots go out. So be aware of that. And uh, so, and so always, always back fill with your native soil so it, it doesn't have to it has to look for for its uh, uh growth you need to maintain water water thoroughly and keep it watered that first year the first year is very very important even maybe into the second year if it's still looking like it's it's you know tr trying to get acclimized but if you i i bought I bought some of the that arrow leaf balsam root I was talking about in, in a four inch pot and I put it out outside of my irrigation system. So I had to hand carry a pot out, a, a watering can all day or every little, about two, two or three times a week in the midsummer, the hottest part of the summer, all summer long. And it was doing fine. And we went on vacation in September and it got hot and nobody watered it for two weeks. And I came back, they were dead. So, you know, you have to, just because they're native doesn't, and they're, they've been moved and they're gonna be touchy for that first year. It's about all I can tell you is steak if, if you have to. And that's it. And I think I'm just about at my hour, maybe a, a little bit over, but these are my resources. Um, if anybody would like to have this page, you can take a screenshot. I'd be more than happy to um, send this out to uh, Karen or, or Muriel, if you'd like to have some of this information, this is where I got all my information here. And you can certainly go down some uh, interesting information rabbit holes. <laughs> so I guess I can stop here if everybody's ready. Uh, for, I'll I can leave my screen up if you'd like, or just let me know, and I'll I'll stop sharing here. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Nola Thank Gerard would like to know done. the name uh, of the plant at the start of your show. Uh, Western something please. something. Western bleeding heart, the first screen, yeah. The the bleeding hearts that you know you buy in the in the store are, are big plants, and th these are only grow about a foot high, but they they grow beautifully. Yeah, Western bleeding heart. I have never seen them in the nurseries though. Um, I can tell you that. Um, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be really awful. I'm going to plug the master gardener plant sale, but I know there's going to be some of the plant sale. Oh, it'll be online this year. Uh, um, May it'll go online May 8th and for pickup at the army 15th. So that's the, but I've never seen them anywhere. I know you might find them over in a, um, in a, one of the other native plant nurseries that I haven't been to. Because I haven't been to all of them, I've got them. I've got it all growing in my yard. Are there any? Are there any other questions? Well, let me just say, Nola, that was great. Uh, I learned a lot. I think all of us did. I want to just give a quick shout out 
and just say that we want to extend um, to know it together. And I know all the technology, the, learning the, the ins and outs of, of operating this Zoom for the first time, you're not the only one, believe me. And I also uh, <laughs> want everyone to know that we recorded this and we have a transcript. The transcript of this is available if you didn't get it all or you'd like to go back and, and, and check something out and get back to, to Nolo um, on, on a point she was making. You can find that at our website, uh, League of Women Voters of Kittitas County. And so you'll have the transcript there. But is there anyone that has a question or one of uh, anything that you, we need to- Muriel, um, Laura wants, Laura wants to know where the Master Gardener plant sale will be held. Yeah, give us another plug, Nola. <laughs> it's, okay. well, it's gonna okay. be online we we you know we, we were so iffy can we have it can we not we decided let's just do it like we did last year online so we're all having we're we're taking pictures of our plants and we're we're describing them and putting them online um we have a uh we have a facebook page and then we have a website as well. And both of them are pushing the, the plant sale and, and the plants will go. They're using um, Sign Up Genius and, and um, a, gosh, a couple of, but you can buy your plants online using a credit card. And then on the 15th of the month, or 15th, well, it'd be eighth. And then you'll have those days to buy. And then on the 15th, you'll pick them up at the armory. And so we'll have a, a drive-through pickup like we did last year. So you can go to, to the Facebook page, uh, MG, MG of Kittitas, all one word, or www.kittitas.garden. And then one of our master gardeners has get, given her personal email address and phone number on, on this poster. But um, come, if any questions at all, we're, we're getting kind of excited we're going to be, uh, we're going to have a booth at the first farmer's market on the first of the month. Um, and um, it, it, it's going to be our first contact with the public. We've been so isolated that there was, we just want to love you all. <laughs> and, and it's going to be so much fun to be able to actually sit down and talk to everybody again. So we're looking forward to this summer. Okay. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our our program tonight. Again, I want to thank all of you for coming and look forward to seeing you the next time.